Hi, and welcome to the Business Spotlight Series. My name is Karen Barnes, and I'm an accountability coach with Serendipity Action Coach of Central North Carolina. I am so excited to have a young entrepreneur that I have known for about six years as our guest today, Kristen Funderburg, who is the founder of Lizzie's All Natural Products, is with us, with us today. And I'll tell you what, uh, I have seen this young entrepreneur go from like, just having a small website and making her products in her in her kitchen to having a full-on e-commerce and retail site. So you are gonna learn so much from uh, from Kristen today. She's gonna share with us some of those lessons she's learned along the way. You know, she's gonna give us a peek into what it's really like to run a busy online and bricks and mortar location uh, for her skincare products company. But before we do that, I know you're eager to get in with Kristen, me too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video so that other people can also learn from Kristen. So Kristen, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Karen. I'm great. <laughs> how, how are you? I'm fantastic. I'm so excited to have you here. And, you know, let's just ask, just start off with the first obvious question, right? Your name's Kristen and the name of your company is Lizzie's All Natural all Natural Products. So like, what's the deal here, friend? <laughs> Absolutely. That's a great question. I get asked a lot. Um, so my first name is Kristen. My middle name is Elizabeth. And it was handed down to me from my great, great, great grandmother. So I decided to like incorporate that into my business because it's also my mom's middle name so she gave it to me and it just keeps getting passed down from generation to generation so I thought it'd be cool to like add some legacy parts into my business I love that I love that so let's talk about your business so tell me how did you get started why did Lizzie's all naturals get how did you start it why did you start it that is no great question <laughs> so I actually started my business in my college dorm room um, on accident. I had a, I was trying to solve a problem that I had myself my entire life. You know, I've suffered from eczema. And as I got older, I was always looking for different ways to kind of remedy it because it was getting so out of hand. Um, like I remember when I was younger, I... I would wear like long jeans and skirts all the time, but it was this one particular day that I was getting off, I was getting on the bus and someone like called my name was like, Hey, you know, you got something on the back of your legs. And it was like, I'm like, what do I have on the back of my legs? I'm thinking like, I'm wearing a long skirt today, but they were talking about my eczema. Mm. And it's just something I've been self-conscious about, you know, my entire life. So when I got to college, I had this big idea. Okay, I'm a broke college student. And I also am tired of getting like my skin's breaking out from using the laundry detergent that I've been using. It's really cheap. And then the other, it just wasn't working. So I started making my own laundry detergent. And yeah, it started from there. People found out that I was making it and they asked if they could, buy it from me and I'm thinking what you want to pay me for this <laughs> so, that's kind of how I got started and now you've got a whole line of products tell us a little bit about all the things that you offer now through your store yeah so what began is just laundry detergent because I started my business off I don't know if you know this or not as Lizzie's laundry detergent because that's I all I know was that selling for like two years and I thought that's all I wanted to do um, so I was selling laundry detergent in 2014, 2015, and 2016. Then 2017 is when I originally started Lizzie's All Natural Products because I wanted to offer a wide array of products for people um, with eczema. It, it also helps with, um, you know, moisturizing their skin, um, cleansing their skin, antibacterial, um, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, all that good stuff. Um, but a lot of people were reacting positively to my laundry detergent. Like this one lady, she came to me and it was my first good, like great, my first review. She said that the laundry detergent, um, 
all her dark marks under her underarms went away after she started using a laundry detergent. And she knew it was a laundry detergent because she hadn't switched up anything else like ever. You know, she's always done the same thing all the time. Use the same ingredients, the same products, you know, the same everything. So that made me feel really good. And that's what really like, honestly, the reviews and my customers and just the interactions and the relationships that I built have really propelled me to keep going. But now we have over 24 products. We have whipped shea butters. We have soaps. We have body washes. We have laundry detergent, of course. Um, we have eczema butter, eczema oil, which are our best-selling products. And yeah, we help, you know, people all over the world just feel better in the skin they're in. Oh man, that's amazing. I, I will say, and I know you know this, but for the folks that are watching, Lizzie's all natural soaps are my go-to present for my mom for the past three or four years. That's like all she wants in her stocking. She's like, these are the best soaps I've ever had. She doesn't have eczema, but she just loves the soap and the, the scents that you put together and just the way it makes her skin feel. So like heartily endorsed by, uh, by, by my mom. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so grateful for your mom. <laughs> <laughs> so thinking about where you are now as a business owner versus where you were in 2014, I mean, 2017, like how much time are you spending working in the business still? Like, are you making all the products and how much time are you spending working on the business? So thinking of new ideas and strategies and, and growth, how do you how do you manage that? Yeah, so I would say that I work on my business a lot. Well, in like what's the analytic part and the the paperwork stuff and the business. So that's the on ideas. the business, that's right? On the business. Okay. Yeah. I'm working a lot more on my business now than I was in the beginning. However, I am still developing, creating, and making products, um, but not as much because I found manufacturers for a few of our products, not all of them, but as far as all the butters go, we're still making all that by hand here at the shop. And I also have a few interns that help me. And um, I'm really grateful because I get to take a little break sometimes from product making because I have interns that know how to do certain things because they've been trained to do certain things. Now, there are some things that I'm still like, I, I need to do myself and I like to do those things, but I do have a, a, a some help now and it feels really good. That is, that is amazing. That's amazing. So when you think about your business, right, it's not just people with eczema, it's people who just want to take extra good care of their skin, right? So what do you think makes your business unique? Why would someone choose you over maybe a, a different brand of, of skincare product? Absolutely. I think people choose our brand um, because there's a lot of word of mouth that gets around about our brand when people find solutions that really work for their skin and for their daily life routine. Um, we've had customers that keep coming back because of the positive results that they've found with our product, the way that it makes them feel, the way that it's affordable at the same time, but they still feel like they're, you know, they know that they're getting a value for their for their dollar. Um, we make them, we make all of our customers feel and know that they are truly valued here. We give them top-notch customer service. Whenever they email us, we're right on it. We really care about our customers and we really care about like building relationships with them. Um, so I feel like that loyalty and that trust that we have with our community really helps propel us to be like an outstanding company rather than just like an okay company. You know what I mean? I do. I do. Well, you mentioned the word marketing, which is my next question actually. And uh, you and I were just talking before we started recording uh, several years ago in 2018, Lizzie, uh, Lizzie, I do that all the time. I'm it's so okay. sorry. You can call me Lizzie. <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I want to call you by your first name, right? But Kristen won a pitch competition uh, that I was involved with and, and took those winnings. I think it was $1,000 maybe and moved your um, moved your existing site onto an e-commerce platform, right? Yeah. And so yeah. that's pro that propelled. Mm -hmm. Yep, you moved from GoDaddy to Shopify. Um, so in terms of marketing, you know, what are some of the strategies that have worked for you? What are some of the strategies you're using now? And maybe what are some of the things that you've tried that haven't worked so well that people listening 
you know, might want to avoid? Ooh, well, that's a lot. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good question because, you know, as a small business, you're always looking for ways to get the word out, you know, and sometimes that can lead to burnout. Sometimes that can lead to losing money. Sometimes that can lead to lost deals. Um, and I've been through all of it. I can really say that. And I honestly feel like every business's marketing strategy is different. What works for me may not work for another business, but I will tell you that, you know, some things that have worked for me is just being a business of integrity because that will get you word of mouth clients real easy, real quick. If, you know, um, being transparent and sticking to what you say you are going to do, what's in these products, all of that good stuff. That has really got us a long way. And I'm so grateful for that because my, my dad's a business owner and he's always taught me, always do good business. It will take you farther than you ever will know. So that has got me pretty far. Um, also Facebook ads, I will say. However, I have worked with a couple of different agencies and some agencies talk this big talk. They want to tell you they're going to bring you all these results and all you do is end up spending dollars on dollars on dollars. Mm. Because the algorithm changes, you know, um, the Apple uh, policy and the requirement changes. So ads can't easily be pushed through like they used to because the 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 market is so saturated right now. Um, I think that, uh, people really sleep on old fashioned marketing. And what I mean by that is like radio and, um, like getting on the news or something like that, because that really, you would be surprised how many people watch the news. Like we were on the news a few years ago and actually a few last year and the year before that, the year before that we were on spectrum last year we were on WXII for our soap class with Lainey Pope. And Oh my goodness, the amount of people that called us was crazy. I did not know so many people watched the news. <laughs> um, even newspaper ads, you would be surprised how many people still read the newspaper. Um, just simple marketing like that. Sometimes I'll go around the parking lots and tag cars, just putting my business cards and flyers into different cars. Um, we have our products in different stores in the community. Um so that is great marketing. Also, we go to vendor events and trade shows. Um, you know, I always make sure I get email contacts and phone numbers from everyone that we meet at those places. Um, other ways that we market, I'm sure is some other ways. We have an affiliate program, um, which basically allows our customers to um, not only um, you know, shop with us and save money, but they also get to make money off of referrals that they provide to our company. Um, you know, we do wholesale. Well, no, I'm, I'm getting into other strategies right now. Marketing, that's it for marketing that I can really think of. Nice, nice. So how many stores are you in now? You mentioned that. So you've got your own brick and mortar, but you're also selling wholesale. So how many stores are you in? Um, I would say about 10. Nice. Yeah. So what's the big dream? How many stores do you want to be in? Like, what's the... Oh, right, I know. big dream. Yeah, come on. You know, my dream has changed. Um, and... I am going to be honest, I, I'm still, I'm right now, I'm at a crossroads of trying to figure out what the next five years of my business looks like, because mm. I always said that when I started, I have a 10 year plan and I'm entering into year seven and I feel like I, there, there are just so many things that I want to do. Um, of course, this is my baby and, you know, I want to keep expanding and growing this business but I also want to you know kind of start on some other ventures as well but right now my full focus is in this company and um I don't know if I really want to go big box unless I you know get a really great manufacturer and something changes within the next few years um, I just, I just heard a lot of, I just know it's a lot of hassle, but it's worth it. Um, it just, you know what, Karen, this is a great question because like I told you, I'm the crossroads of really 
figuring out what it is I want to do with this business. Do I want to run this business for the rest of my life? Do I mm -hmm. want to for someone else? Mm -hmm. so, um, do I want to just keep expanding? There is there are so many opportunities, so many different ways that I can go, but I can't really give you a solid answer right now. That's totally fair. I and I really appreciate the honesty, right? <laughs> yeah. Um you mentioned before that your dad's a businessman. So why did you choose to go into business by by yourself or or before yourself? You said it a little bit earlier it was by accident, but you've chosen to stick it out. Like what does it mean to you to be a business owner and a founder? Oh wow, it means so much to me. Like a lot of times I don't even sit and really think about what I am and what I do because I'm always on the go. I really don't sit and reflect as much as I should. Mm. Um, but when I am asked this question, it actually like just, it just gets so many emotions stirring because I, I went to college for criminal justice. <laughs> I worked in higher education after that for five years, you know, didn't really know what my life journey was. And then I, was still working my side hustle, which is now my full-time job. And it really gave me so much passion. It brought so much light into my life. And when I took that leap of faith, I feel like it's the best decision I've ever made in my life. It's the most challenging and, the, and really hard sometimes, <laughs> but it's the best decision that I've made in my life, hands down. And just to know that I have come this far no matter what happens in the future I'm just super proud and super happy and super excited that I have been able to make such an impact in other people's lives for you know all these years and hopefully for the years to come but I'm really just focused on the present day and just doing as much as I can with every moment that I have Nice. That's so beautiful. Although I want you to take some, have some time for reflection and think about how far you've come. Like there, it, it's incredible. What an incredible story from your dorm room to having, you know, 24 different products. Like that's incredible, Kristen. I, I, I hope you take time and moments to really acknowledge all the hard work that's gone into that. Cause it's, it's really remarkable. Thank you so much. Well, let's change up the let's change up the pace here a little bit. I'm going to ask you some rapid fire questions. They're just okay. short little questions, and you're going to give me short little answers. You ready? Yes. Like a game show. Okay, here we go. Ooh. All right, Kristen, what is the key to success for you? Showing up. What is the one piece of advice you would give other business owners? Oh man, building relationships is key. Having someone in your corner to encourage and motivate you. Mm hmm. Great answer. Is there a book that you're reading or a podcast that you're listening to or a, something that you're learning from that you want other people to know about that you would recommend? Absolutely. It's two podcasts that I'm listening to right now. Girl CEO by Ronnie Brown. I love Ronnie Brown so much. And also the product boss. I cannot remember her name. Don't shoot me. I'm so sorry. But if you type in the product boss on like your podcast app, you'll find her and she is awesome. Like she talks about building your business and creating products and she's a girl boss and I just love her too. Yes, girl bosses. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite question to ask. So imagine that you had a small little bin, a small little package of magic pixie dust, right? And you could sprinkle it anywhere in your business and your prob that problem would go away. Absolute magic. Where would you sprinkle your pixie dust? In my bank account. <laughs> I, I i love your honesty love your honesty are you profitable are you making money absolutely we are but we're also spending money and we are looking for ways to cut costs right now because you already know inflation is on the rise it's been on yeah. the rise since covid you know shipping prices have increased um a lot of things have gone up. So yeah, um, look, 
I we are we are paying the bills. <laughs> I hear you there. I hear that answer uh, a good bit from our clients too. <laughs> All right. So where can people find you on the great interwebs and the social medias? Yes. Yeah, so you guys can find me on social media at on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Products by Lizzie, and that's L-I-Z-Z-I-E. Um, you can find us on our website at www.productsbylizzie.com. And we're also on Twitter at Lizzie's Products. Oh, okay. and you can on at Products by Lizzie too, sorry. Nice, nice. You're all over it. You are all over it. Okay, last question. What is most inspiring to you today? what is most inspiring to me um can it be like a person or just like any sure um the most inspiring thing in my life I would really say my dad like he's super inspiring to me he has in ignited a light inside of me when I was younger that I never even knew existed and now I get to like live it out every day and I can call him if I have any questions or you know things like that so even though we're in two different um industries um that's really inspiring to me he's and really I just inspiring to me. I love that answer and I love that answer so much I'm gonna I'm going to respond with a personal story. My dad changed my life too. When I was probably six years old, I wanted a calculator. He had this big fancy scientific calculator and it was $35 and you know, I was six and I asked him to buy it for me. And he said, uh, I didn't know what any of the buttons meant. I mean, you know, I could barely add and subtract at that point. Right. Um, but I asked my dad to buy it for me and he responded with a question that changed my whole life. He said, what are you going to do to earn the money? I said, dad, I'm, I'm six. Like what do six-year-olds do to earn money? Right? It's not like we can go get a job. Right. And so my dad was a big gardener. And so he said, why don't we plant petunias? And that's what we did. And so Karen's Plants, that was my first business, was born. I ran that for probably four or five years or something like that. And if you were to come over to my garage, hanging on the wall is an old, old piece of plywood. It's painted and hand lettered. And it says petunias, red, white, and blue, $1.75 a dozen. And then it has my parents' address on it. So you know oh. what? Dads are awesome. They are. <laughs> I Absolutely. love that. Well, Kristen, it is, as always been, just a total pleasure to have you here. And listen, for th for those of y'all who have never visited the site and you've never tried uh, Kristen's products, if you have eczema, do yourself a favor and try some. Even if you don't have eczema, be like my mom. This is like yay parents episode, right? Go try some of her soaps and her other uh, 24 other products. Uh, you will not regret it. Hey, listen, we will catch you on the next episode. Feel free to share this all through your networks and help spread Kristen's wisdoms with the, some other small business owners. All right, take care. Thank you, Karen.